Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. My name is Sarah. I am but three. My eyes are swollen. I cannot see. I must be stupid. I must be bad. What else could have made my daddy so mad? I wish I were better. I wish I weren't ugly. Then maybe my mommy would still want to hug me. I can't speak at all. I can't do a wrong. Or else I'm locked up all day long. When I'm awake, I'm all alone. The house is dark. My folks aren't home. When my mommy does come, I'll try and be nice. So maybe I'll get just one whipping tonight. Don't make a sound. I just heard a car. My daddy is back from Charlie's bar. I hear him curse. My name he calls. I press myself against the wall. I try and hide from his evil eyes. I'm so afraid now. I'm starting to cry. He finds me weeping. He shouts ugly words. He says it's my fault that he suffers at work. He slaps me and hits me and yells at me more. I finally get free and I run for the door. He's already locked it and I start to bawl. He takes me and throws me against the hard wall. I fall to the floor with my bones nearly broken and my daddy continues with more bad words spoken. I'm sorry, I scream, but it's now much too late. His face has been twisted into unimaginable hate. The hurt and the pain again and again. Oh, please, God, have mercy. Oh, please, let it end. And finally he stops, and he heads for the door. Why, I lay there motionless, sprawled on the floor. My name is Sarah, and I am but three. Tonight my daddy murdered me. As horrific as this poem is, it's not unique or uncommon. Child abuse is one of the most common causes of death in children in this country. Kids under the age of four are killed by child abuse more than any other cause. Five children in this country are killed every day by the result of child abuse or child neglect. And in Seminole County alone over the last 12 months, six children have lost their lives due to abuse. But child abuse doesn't always result in death. There are thousands of children out there who are forced to live with the scars. Instead, they live in fear, waiting for the next time that someone's going to explode on them or even force them to do something terrible with their bodies. Like six-month-old Allison, beaten into a coma for crying too much. Or five-year-old Joshua, who was starved by his parents as a form of punishment when he didn't do his chores. Or nine-year-old Isabel, who was forced to repeatedly perform sexual acts on her father. In the past year, more than 4,000 cases have been reported, and those are the ones that have been documented. The vast majority of cases goes unreported, sometimes until it's too late. Child abuse can be the physical, sexual, emotional mistreatment or neglect of children. Documented cases have included whipping with a belt buckle, putting hands in boiling water, forcing a child to sleep on the cement without clothes on, breaking fingers, boxing ears repeatedly, spraying alcohol into eyes, submerging heads in water, biting or kicking, shoving, slapping, burning, bruising, pulling ears or hair, choking or shaking a child, or it might include pressuring a child to engage in sexual activities. Fortunately, there is a way out of this tragedy because there's Kids House, a children's advocacy center that focuses on preventing abuse and helping children who've been abused from report and investigation through treatment and resolution. Kids House offers a single site location for child abuse investigations in Seminole County. The state-of-the-art child-friendly facility ensures collaboration of services and provides an environment to bring together all the people that an abused child needs to see and talk to in one place. How does it work? 
First, they offer a safe place for children and their families or their caregivers, and they offer hope and help when the world seems most bleak. One thing that was for sure is that they wanted to come here. You know, they, well, kids in general, I mean, the stuff that they were, that they're dealing with is not fun to talk about. It's not fun to go through. They would rather ignore it and move on with their lives. And they liked to come here. They, they liked, they, they didn't call them their counselors. They liked to come and see their friends every week. She went from a little girl who only followed the rules to a real little girl who questioned and challenged and she was finally able to live and didn't have to live in fear. She's thriving now. But that wouldn't have happened if she hadn't come to Kid's house. She's okay now. Each year at Kids House, we renew our promise to protect our children. Let's go inside and meet some of the volunteers and professionals who promise to protect our community's kids. I promise to warmly welcome our children and their families to Kids House. I know they're scared, hurt, confused, and often angry. I promise to speak to our kids in a non-threatening manner and comfortable, child-friendly interview rooms that are equipped with audio and video recording devices to protect them. I promise to build a rapport with our kids, to earn their trust, and to remind them that they are not at fault for what has happened. I promise to lend a hand whenever I can so the kids have a warm and safe place to come to. I promise to thoroughly but gently conduct forensic examinations on our children and to help to make their bodies healthy and strong. I promise to treat our children and their families or their caregivers with dignity and respect during the exams and to make them feel comfortable. I promise to listen, support, and advocate for our kids. I promise to protect. I promise to empower, encourage, and believe in our kids to help them recover from abuse. I promise to find a way to make our kids smile. I promise to address the unique needs of every child and their family and to offer specialized trauma therapy to help them heal. I promise to provide a therapeutic environment to experience, express, and heal from the intense emotions child abuse creates. We, we promise, promise to, to protect. protect. I promise to work each day to prevent child abuse, to help families identify their strengths and supports, and develop plans that reduce the risk to children and break the cycle of abuse for future generations. I promise to protect. I promise to protect. We, we promise, promise to protect. protect. We promise to protect. It is incomprehensible that some of our children live in daily fear for their health and safety, being slapped, kicked, beaten, raped, assaulted, and humiliated. And this isn't someplace else. This isn't just on TV or in the newspapers. It is here, in our own communities, in our own neighborhoods. But together, we have the power to stop it. We can protect our children, learn to recognize the signs of abuse, report them, and speak for those who cannot or are too afraid to. Together, we can help end their horror and begin the healing. Each year, more than 2,200 children visit Kids House. More than ever, we need your financial support to continue providing the critical services our kids need. We make many promises to our children, but there is none greater than the promise to love and protect. Please join us, stand with us, and promise to protect our children. We promise to protect.